what's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. So I was on the collie today, and there was an interesting intake on the latest Dog Pound album. And some of the people were bringing up interesting dialogue in regards to the Dog Pound album because they some people feel that the joint was rushed. Some people like it was like thought, thought it was dope. And what made me want to do this post was people are inciting that there may be creative differences between Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Reason being, the last couple singles have been singly led by DJ Premier, who was probably seen as Dre's biggest competition in the 90s. Because when it comes to demand, DJ Premier was up in just as much de demand in hip-hop as Dr. Dre was. On the East Coast, so to speak. Or, or you know, as she just premiered from Texas. We don't matter. He's from New York. We, we consider him as the East Coast. We consider him that. But going back to this, that seems like uh, a message sent to Dr. Dre. As according to one of the posters said. He said, because the, the Dog Pound worked on this album within a week. From my understanding, they, they completed this whole album in a week. Big shout out to my guys, Mike and Keys. They put they did some dope product on there. Whereas Dr. Dre, he'll probably take years just to drop a snippet. And this is probably why the, the reunion album that Snoop and Dre was supposed to drop, the missionary album, hasn't dropped. Because, see, with this video, I want to tell y'all the breakdown. See, Dre's creative work is mind-boggling. His perfection, his mindset frustrates a lot of people. Dre will sit there, and many people will tell you, being in the studio with Dr. Dre, for my man Bishop Lamont, Exhibit, Too Short, DJ Quick, Dre will sit there and have you working on one bar for a whole day. He'll tell you it's cool, it's dope, and then you got to come in for more. Just to work, just to, just to say one word. It got to come out right. And that perfectionist shit frustrates people. That's why Tupac didn't want to. He tried to sit Tupac down and do that shit. And Tupac was like, hell no. You ain't sitting me down with this, man. Because we, we know we, if we got creative juices, we're going to drop the music right there. But see, Dr. Dre, on the other hand, he wants a, a, a vent for his releases. You can't argue with his track record. Every big, every release, big release that Dr. Dre had, from The Chronic, from Doggy Style, Chronic 2001, um, I would probably say some of the Death Row albums as well, because he was a part of that, he was a heavy part of that. They all had big energy field behind it, it felt like movie premieres. And then even with his own artists, with Eminem, 50 Cent, Game, Kendrick Lamar, Snoop, all these releases felt like monumental events within that time period. And see, now, Eminem being under Dr. Dre, being the understudy of the Dr. Dre, he understands the assignment. That's why when he releases albums, he releases albums every couple of years. Because he's a perfectionist, too, when it comes to lyrics, when it comes to bars. Even, you can look on the Off The Cuff Radio community page, you see how Eminem even writes. It's weird, but he's very passionate when it comes to hip-hop and when it comes to rap music. He is very passionate. So he'll probably take all day just to focus on a couple bars. He learned that perfectionism under Dr. Dre. Even to the point where he fired Stat Quo just because he disagreed with him over a hook. Now, Snoop, on the other hand, he brings a vibrant, creative energy. He got people at the moment. Like, let's say, for example, he got Rage, Doll Pound, RBX. He got all these people at the moment. He's ready to go right there, and he's ready to start releasing records or start working. Now, people may say that he's rushing releases, some of them from the dog pound, they, I'm going to be real, they felt rushed. But see, the batting average is strong. That's why Snoop is a proven hit maker. 
Now, Dr. Dre and M, on the other hand, they want rollouts. They want motion picture shit. They, and it shows also, however, they're also recluse from the public. Because you notice, they don't do interviews. They don't do podcasts. They don't mingle out in public, whereas Snoopy's everywhere. He's outside. He's doing features. He's working with different producers. He's working with new talent. What happened to the dude that M and Dre even signed to Shady? What happened to West Boogie? What happened to EZ Millie? What happened to those dudes? They're not real. They just signing people basically just to give them ideas. But Snoop, on the other hand, he's mingling every single day with people. Eminem and Dre, they're, they're recluse. They'll come out every once in a while, and that's why when they do come out, some of the stuff they say is dated. Just to be honest. But at the same time, it does numbers. And that's why I think they're focused on at this moment of time. They're not really focused on quality and content because they felt they built a legacy of doing that. Their, my, their mentality is, if you want my old shit, buy my old shit. Their mentality now is just to do big, strong, first week numbers and call it a day. And they have a track record when it comes to doing that. And I, but it, However, the content suffers. But that's my take on it, man. That's how they work. So... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe at the like button, peace.